Have you ever wanted to blow something up but don't want to risk going to prison? Well, today's tutorial is going to be how to do a shatter effect that will wow your fans and most importantly, the people that send you money. What's going on everyone? This is Jordan Bertone with Sonduck Film. I hope you're all doing great today. Be sure to hit that like button. You're free to hit the dislike button too, but apparently that doesn't matter anymore. Anyways, let's get started. All right, so to start off, we're gonna add the first shatter effect onto the text that we want to explode. So to start off, right click the text layer, select pre-compose, we'll name the pre-comp placeholder, make sure move all attributes is selected, then click okay. Now with the pre-comp highlighted, go up to effect, simulation, shatter, and the effect controls panel, set the view to rendered, open up shapes, set the pattern to glass, and extrusion depth to zero. Open up Force 1, set the strength to 0.05, open up Physics, set the rotation speed to around 0.4, and set Gravity to 0. And now you should have this really slow shattering effect happening on your text layer. Next, copy the shatter effect we just did by pressing Ctrl C, then right click and pre-compose the placeholder layer. This time we'll name it Shatter Base. Then, with the pre-comp highlighted, press Ctrl V to paste the shatter effect onto it. In the effect controls panel, open up shape and change the pattern to stars and triangles, set extrusion depth to 0.1, open force 1, and set the strength to around 1. Now move to about 2 seconds on the timeline, set a keyframe for radius, set the radius to 0.1, then move forward about another 2 seconds or so, Set the radius to about 0.8, then highlight the keyframes and press F9 to make them easy ease keyframes. Next, duplicate the pre-comp, go into the effect controls panel, open shape, set the pattern back to glass, set repetitions to around 200, extrusion depth to 0.02, open force 1, move to the first keyframe for radius on the timeline, set the radius to 0.14, and set strength to 0.5. Remember that these are just the settings I'm using, but you can experiment with these values in your project to make your own custom shatter effect. Now duplicate that layer, and for this one, all we're going to do is open physics on the effect controls panel and change the mass variance to 50%. Highlight the bottom pre-comp, duplicate it, bring the duplicate to the top of the layer list, open shape on the effect controls panel, change the pattern back to glass, open force 1, bring the strength down to 0.5, and then open physics and set rotation speed to 0.2. Lastly, highlight all of these pre-comps, right click them, select pre-compose, name this pre-comp shatter full, then click OK. If you like the style of motion graphics in this video and you want a quick and easy way to add them to your projects with the click of a button, check out our brand new Pulse Pack. It includes over 150 stylized motion graphics to enhance your projects and make them stand out. With our easy to use AdamX extension, all you have to do is find a graphic you like and hit apply. Once it's out on the timeline, you can easily customize the composition with our simple to use control layers and edit the different elements to fit your needs. And just like that, you have a stunning custom composition to use in your projects. Check out the link in the description or visit sonduckfilm.com for more info. Next, we're going to add a quick RGB effect to the shatter by highlighting the pre-comp and going up to Effect, Channel, Shift Channels. In the Effect Controls panel, set Take Green and Take Blue to Full Off, then duplicate that pre-comp, set Red to Full Off, Green to Green, and then duplicate that pre-comp again, set Green to Full Off and Blue to Blue. So you should have one with red enabled, one with green enabled, and one with blue enabled. Now go to the bottom of the screen and click the toggle switches and modes button until you see the modes drop downs next to the layers, and then set the top two pre-comps mode to screen. Lastly, highlight the top pre-comp, press P for position, and decrease the X value by just a few pixels, then highlight the bottom pre-comp and increase the X value of its position by just a few pixels. Now you should have this slight RGB effect around the edges of your title like this. The last thing we're going to do is add a camera lens blur to blur out the edges of our composition and bring everything together. Start by going to Layer, New, Solid, make sure the color is set to white, then click OK. Deselect the solid, now select the Ellipse tool, make sure Fill is set to Solid, the color of the fill is black, and set Stroke to None. 
Hold down the shift key and click and drag to create a medium sized circle at the center of the composition. Use the align tab to fully center it, then go to effect, blur and sharpen, gauge and blur, and increase the blurriness to around 550. Highlight the solid and shape layer, pre-compose them, name this pre-comp lens map, then click OK and click the hide layer checkbox to make it invisible. Now go to layer, new, adjustment layer, rename the layer to blur, then go to effect, blur and sharpen, camera lens blur. In the effect controls panel, set the blur radius to 20, shape to octagon, set the blur map to the lens map pre-comp that we just made, and then enable repeat edge pixels. Lastly, alt click the stopwatch for blur radius to open the expression controls panel, then type in wiggle parentheses 0.5 comma 20 to add a slight motion to the blur effect. And there you have it, an awesome shattering explosion effect to use on your different graphics and after effects. Okay, so now you're ready to go out there and start blowing stuff up in After Effects. Be sure to subscribe, we post multiple tutorials here on this channel every single week. We also post content and tutorials on our Instagram as well, so be sure to check that out, link in the description, and remember, always be creating.